Thank you very much, Kevin. And uh, as always, a special thank you to Kathy uh, for making these events run smoothly. Can I just ask, can everybody hear me okay? Okay, that's good, that's good. Right, before we get into this, into the details, I'd like to make it clear that trading without charts is not supposed to be a challenge. So this isn't like riding a unicycle blindfolded or boxing with on one arm tied behind your back. This isn't really like advanced super trader techniques we're talking about. What we're going to do is boil trading down to a few fairly simple concepts. Who's long? Who's short? Where are traders trapped? And where can we get into the market with minimal risk and good potential reward? Now you can combine the techniques we're talking about today with chart trading. For many traders though, they're stuck in the loop of trying to find the perfect set of indicators or pattern of, pattern of candlesticks to trade off and really getting nowhere. So for those people, I'd say give these techniques a try on their own first. Now for the other people, the ones that already have an edge off the chart and you're looking to improve upon it, I'd say don't throw away anything that is already working for you. Bottom line, this method of determining where to get in and out of the market does require you to change the way you think about the markets a little. It's not really complicated, it just requires a different mindset. Now what we're talking about is the way that most prop traders start out. Prop firms tend to teach their interns to trade this way mostly because it's the fastest way to get them profitable. Now I've met prop traders that have gone from never trading before to trading a live prop account, just one or two lots in 12 weeks. Okay, now I've also met retail traders that are still not profitable, still don't know what to do after five years. Um, many of the prop firms won't let their traders use charts at all uh, until they're profitable without them. Okay, now some of the things that we discussed today are often going to be visible on both the charts and the profile. Okay, you're going to see that today in some of the examples, but it's not always the case, and we're going to use the profile because that still has the edge. Okay, so on to a new chart. Looking at the markets from a chart perspective, we usually can consider the extremes of the swings to be support and resistance. Now some